So on this one, we have a triangle, three sides and a 90 degree angle. So you, you probably know what we use for any right triangle, meaning this 90 degree angle right there. <clears throat> it's like a corner, 90 degrees, right triangle. Um, we can use A squared plus B squared is C squared. This is called the Pythagorean theorem. I'm not going to quiz you on the name. That is where it comes from. Mr. Pythagoras and his group a long time ago. Pythagorean theorem. So, all right. So how do we do it? Now, the trick with using the Pythagorean theorem, you know, there's not much of a trick, but the only thing you need to worry about is make sure you know which one is C. C, you got to get C right. A and B are totally interchangeable. Doesn't really matter. The order in A and B doesn't matter, but you got to get C right. Well, how do you know which one is C? C is always the one across from the right angle. So this is C. C is always the longest side. See how that's the longest side? And the other two are A and B. So C can be the number. C can be the letter. It just sort of depends on the problem. But C is always the side across from the right angle. That's called, by the way, the hypotenuse. You might have heard of that word. In a right triangle, that's the side across from the right angle. That's the longest side. And it makes sense, right, in the formula? Because the other two squared add up to be it because it's the longest. All right, so then what do we get for the other two? X squared and 9 squared. That will be X squared. And 9 squared is 81. 13 squared is 169. And so now we just solve for X. Here's the wall of separation here. X is saying, I want to be alone. So just rid of this, affect 81 from both sides like that. And so this cancels out and we get X squared equals what's that going to be? 88, like that. And now last step, how do we, um, how do we get rid of that two power and just make it into like a regular X? Well, I think, you know, square root both sides, huh? That cancels that out. Why does it cancel it out? Well, because really it's it's two x that's in there, right? X squared is two for one. That's why we say it cancels it out because square roots are always a two for one deal, aren't they? So x squared inside there is two x's in there, which ships out one, one x. Okay, now what about the other side, square root of 88? Well, notice that they don't want a decimal. See up here, they say, um, pay your attention up here, it says not a decimal, exact value. So we got to simplify that square root of 88. So let's do that. How do you do it? Well, eight times 11, you should calculate eight times 11, and the 11 can't go any further. Eight, eight is four times two, the two can't go any further, and the four is two times two, right? So then what do we have then? So the square root of 88, therefore, equals the square root of three twos and an 11. One, two, three twos, and an 11. And then it's a two for one deal. So two twos inside, one two outside. They're gone. What's left on the inside? Two times 11, 22. So it's two square root of 22. That's how you simplify the square root of 88, right? You just break it down with your calculator, factoring tree, down to all the little pieces. They can't break down any further, three twos and an 11, and then it's a two for one ship out. That's what roots always are. One two comes out, the other two and 11 have to stay in because there's not two more twos or two 11s. That's two root 22. So that's our answer, two square root 22. That's the, that's the X, that's the missing side, the left side. There we go.